What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today we're gonna build something a little bit different. The way that we're gonna go about the haircut is it's a short choppy bob, which I know I cut a lot of bob haircuts, but this time I wanted to pull the fringe off of the face. I also wanted to give it a little bit more of a 80s flair to it, so a nice high fringe. I've seen a lot of celebrities wearing their hair slicked back with some volume. So I want to kind of bring that into this cut. So here is the cut. You see how the fringe kind of pops back and over. There's some short pieces in here. She could wear it uh, down and to the side if she wanted to, but she doesn't have to. And this gives it kind of versatility to the style. So you can see the choppiness throughout it. We cut it with a razor. So I know you guys are gonna enjoy that as well. And let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and also hit that subscribe button before you forget. We have lots and lots of videos coming out all the time. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. So I wanna start off by going over tool selection. We have the carving comb in my hand and I also have the Donald Scott twist. In this cut, I'm gonna go with the twist. The biggest difference between the two is obviously the twist is smaller. It's a little bit easier to work in tighter places. You can use any comb you want with it. With the carving comb, it has a comb attached, but it also, it has wider teeth. So it'll cut 100% on one side and 50% on the other side. With the Donald Scott twist, you get a 100% side and you also get a 25% side. All right, so let's get into the sectioning. Sectioning is very simple with this cut. What I did was I took a straight line down center, uh, created a center parting, and then I built my horseshoe shape off of that center parting on the very top following the parietal ridge. Then I went straight down center back and then at high occipital bone, I followed a, di a slight diagonal forward uh, parting to create that bottom section. So we're basically splitting this into four parts. We've got the top and we've got the left side, the right side, and then the very bottom nape occipital bone area. So you can see all the partings there. Now what I'm gonna do is this is the great thing about the Donald Scott twist or the carving comb. You could take a nice wide two inch section. Now take a look at the angle when you pull out that two inch section. So you could see that at the very bottom nape area, it's a nice 45 degree angle. But then when you look at the top occipital bone area, it's pretty much zero degrees. So as we work through it, that part's gonna be a lot heavier towards the top section. So what I do is a little bit heavier stroke with the razor, softens that angle, gives it more of a 45 degree feel. That's the great thing about cutting with a carving comb is you can take that wide section, cut through it, and the heavier the stroke, the softer the angle. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And what you're gonna notice is as I cut through this, I use the heavier stroke, but then you'll see some of that hair left over at the bottom. What that is, is it has to do with me elevating the hair into my fingers. So what I'm gonna do is just pinch cut it. So just pinch it in my finger and cut through with the razor. It gives me that nice stronger line towards the bottom. So you can see that angle that we created really nice, follows the head shape. And now we're gonna move into the side portion of the haircut. Important thing to notice in the side portion of the haircut, we're still working with condensed cutting. So I'm gonna be working with heavy strokes of the razor, but you're gonna see that underneath, normally we would use that as a guideline, but what I'm gonna do is disconnect it because I want heavier layering falling over the top of those layers that we cut previously. So I want to create that kind of disconnection, that soft overhang uh, on the haircut. So that's what I do. I look where the guideline would be, stretch it a little bit further, and then use heavy strokes of the razor to create that separation. Now I'm just going to follow. I'm going to carve in the line that I want right along the cheekbone area. A little pinch cutting softens it up. And now we're gonna to move to the opposite side. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, keeping that disconnection. So you'll see me comb everything to its natural fall. Take that two inch section, working with condensed cutting still, finding the guideline underneath and stretching a little bit further past it and starting with the heavy strokes of the razor. The heavy stroke with the razor again will create a softer angle. So if I were to pick this up and show you guys the angle, it would be at more of a 45 degree angle even though I'm holding everything nice and low. That's the beauty of a razor. It's a little more of a freedom tool. You can go in and create your shape as long as you understand what you're doing. So same thing on the right side. We're just following the jawbone uh, all the way across. That was the goal. 
goal is just to have a nice soft, not really too much of an A-line feel to this haircut. That wasn't the goal. It was to have a nice soft bob and then create the volume in the fringe. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to use the 25% carve side. So notice there's two different sides to the Donald Scott twist. This is the 25% carve side. So I'm going to remove bulk, create some layers, and then I'm going to recomb it. This is the entire top section and then cut it with the 100% carved side to create the angle of the fringe. So first we go in, take out some weight, create the texture, and then we go in and cut the length. Now I'm using the Bricado Cloud 9 Blow Dry Serum. Uh, this is a great soft product. I love uh, that it makes the hair feel like there's no product in it, but it does have a nice hold to it uh, for smoothing the hair and getting a nice polish and shine. So I'm going through Ergo uh, Paddle Brush, flat wrapping the hair, just creating a smooth feel to it. You're going to notice that there's a little bit of wave to this mannequin. Um, what I want to do is straighten it out on the sides to create just that soft texture, but then have a ton of volume in the top. So I'm using the air from the blow dryer and the brush to push the hair up to give me that volume. I see a lot of people use round brushes to try to create volume in this short of hair, um, but you, you don't need that. You can go in with the blow dryer, just use the air from the blow dryer to push the hair up. Um, I think people underestimate the power of just using the air from the blow dryer and not necessarily round brushing everything. My goal was not to have like real bent uh, volume in this haircut. It was to have a pop in the top and then straight on the sides. And that's what I think gives this more of a modern feel. And I just love how soft it looks and all the texture that's in the haircut. So now I'm gonna go in with our uh, Bricado Carve. And this is just a texture cream. It's very lightweight. Uh, one of my favorite products in almost every hairstyle just to create a little bit of texture. So you can see how it just adds that pieciness to the haircut right away. So it kind of allows you to mold it so the hair doesn't look so soft, gives it that edgy texture. Uh, really enjoy this product. And remember guys, all the tools and products and everything you see on these videos is available on freesaloneducation.com. So if you want to check out the Donald Scott twist that I used in the video, go check it out. I think it's $34.95 or $35.95, something like that. Uh, really affordable tool. Uh, hope you guys like the cut. Let me know if you have any questions. All right guys, and like always, if you like this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends out there. Also remember that we have a really cool FSE partnership program that's for you stylists out there to become part of what we're doing. We do a live class for you every month. You get to ask questions, get involved. We also have a super private Facebook group where you can be involved in that as well. Ask me questions, ask whatever. And you get put on our hairsalonlocator.com website so that anybody out there, if you're not a hairdresser and you're watching this and you're looking for for a new hair salon and you want a hair salon that does these haircuts then go to hairsalonlocator.com put in your zip code you'll find a salon that's part of the fse partnership program so stylists out there go check it out people out there that aren't hairdressers go find a new salon thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video And guys, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below because you could win this Vibrastrate iron. Good luck. Let me know in the comments below if you've subscribed. Thanks.